October 7th massacre and what ensued has nothing to do with the Palestinians. Nothing. It has nothing to do with the Arab-Israeli conflict or the Palestinian question. This is not a war with the Palestinians. Israel is at war with the genocidal jihadist Hamas terror organization only. It is the law-abiding democracy of Israel against modern-day Nazis. These are the facts. Hamas do not care about the Palestinian people. They do not care about peace or dialogue. Hamas has only one goal, to annihilate Israel and murder every single Jew on the face of the earth. Friends, on October 7th, it became clear to the entire world that Hamas's charter was not a compilation of empty words. It was an action plan, an action plan. Imagine a bright sunny day, clear skies, music in the air, young people are dancing, a rave, a concert for peace. Yes, for peace. It is really, it is early morning on the Holy Sabbath. It is also a festive Jewish high holiday, Simchat Torah. Simchat Torah means the joy of the Torah, where we celebrate the book of books, our holy Bible. And then, in one split second, this idyllic Eden became hell on earth. The peaceful morning air was pierced with the wail of rocket sirens. Thousands, I'm telling you, thousands of Hamas mortars and rockets rained down indiscriminately on many Israeli cities and villages. But the rockets were only cover for the pogrom, the pogrom that followed. Barbaric Hamas terrorists invaded Israel from the sea, the land, and the air. They came with one purpose, one purpose only, to savagely murder every living thing they encountered. Hamas Nazi murders went from house to house with hit lists. A thoroughly planned, willful, premeditated attack. They brutally murdered civilians in their beds. They drove pickup trucks with machine guns. Yes, we all remember, just like ISIS, and fired blindly at hundreds of young people at a concert. 300. 300 were burned alive or butchered in that concert. Much of what remained were clumps of flesh and, and bloody limbs. Parents had to bring their children's toothbrushes for DNA so they could figure out whose limb belonged to who. These Hamas monsters raped women and children, parading naked girls that they raped and bodied that they defiled through the streets of Gaza, Why thousands, and I'm telling you, thousands, you can see the footage, jeered and cheered. The savages tortured small babies. Just like the Nazis, Hamas terrorists removed infants from their cribs. Yes, we have it on video. Swung them repeatedly against the ground until their skulls became a pulp. Children were murdered in front of their parents and parents in front of their children. I've seen a video of a terrorist filmed by him, by himself, who tossed a grenade into a bomb shelter with a father and his two young boys inside. The father was killed instantly and the two boys ran out of the shelter screaming that their father is dead and that they want to be dead too. All this is occurring, believe it or not, as the monster who murdered their father calmly helps himself to the contents of the family's fridge. Yes, no horror movie compares to the pure brutality that Hamas carried out. No, none. Amit Man, a 22-year-old from Kibbutz Be'eri and a paramedic for Magen David Adom, Israel's Red Cross. He dedicated her life, literally, and you will understand why, to saving others.
When the Hamas monsters invaded the kibbutz, Amit ran to the clinic to treat as many wounded as she could. For hours, hours, Amit worked non-stop trying to save lives. She knew the sadistic terrorists were outside her clinic because she heard the gunfire, but she stayed there. She was committed to saving lives, not running away. Finally, the terrorists burst into her clinic and put a bullet, a bullet through her brain. She was a Magen David Adom paramedic, the Israeli Red Cross, in uniform. But that didn't stop these savages. Ambulances were set on fire. Not one, many. Dozens of Magen David Adom medical teams were in, intentionally targeted on their way to tend to the wounded and many other par paramedics were murdered. Barzilai Hospital in my hometown city, Ashkelon, in Israel, suffered direct hits from Hamas rockets. Not for the first time. Hamas has been deliberately firing rockets at it for years, for years, intentionally. Yet, not a single condemnation of this barbarity has been mentioned here. Not here, not by the Security Council, not by the Secretary General, and not by this absurd resolution. It seems that hospitals and medical teams only need to be protected as long as they are not Israeli. Hypocrisy is beyond belief, beyond belief. The brutal ISIS-like monsters abducted over 220 hostages from Israel and dozens of other countries, including Babies, babies, children, persons with disabilities, the elderly and Holocaust survivors. Kfir Bibas, Kfir Bibas is nine months old. Nine months old and he's being held right now in Gaza as a hostage. Nine months old. What, what barbaric terrorists can do such a thing? And together with him, 30 other children. 30 other children. We saw Hamas's brutality in Israel. I cannot begin to fathom what horrors the hostages are enduring right now. As we speak here, 20 days have gone by and Israel is still counting her dead. It took weeks to collect all of the bodies. Some bodies are burnt like pieces of coal. It is almost impossible to identify them. Countless burned bodies have been found with ash in their throats, meaning they were still alive, still alive when lit on fire, intentionally, by the Hamas terrorists. A clump of charred human remains that was burned beyond recognition was found. At first, the medical pers personnel couldn't figure out what they were looking at. Yet, after a CT scan, it became clear that they were two spines, not one, two spines bound together with wire. One belonging to an adult and the other, the small spine of a child. So just try to imagine that parents, that parents feeling as they and their child were burning alive, burning alive. The painful screaming of the love of their life was the last thing they heard, the last thing. Do you not think it's unbelievable that this resolution here today and this session are not solely focused on Hamas's atrocities? When reading this resolution, Hamas seems to be missing in action. The drafters of the resolution claim to be concerned about peace, yet the depraved Murders who initiated this war are not even mentioned in the resolution, not even mentioned. They see each one of you as puppet. They write a resolution completely devoid of any content related to the situation. They assume that you have already forgotten who it is that is responsible for the inhumane violence, and they just expect you to support it automatically. This resolution is a disgrace to your intelligence, a disgrace. It is unfathomable that such a resolution, one that doesn't even mention Hamas, 